This is a video response to Jesus Freak 777 who made a video called The Walking Dead Atheist. For about a minute and a half, he just shows clips from the TV show uh, or movie, I don't know what the hell it is called, The Walking Dead, including a clip with a little boy about talking about some dead girl and a Christian lady comes over and talks about heaven and he says to her that uh, if you believe in heaven you're an idiot. And JF comes along and saying that we atheists persecute Christians by calling them zombies. And then he calls us zombies because we are just nothing but here to eat and nothing else. Zombies are here just to roam around with food and nothing else. JF claims that uh, we atheists are. Well, you know that there are several different kinds of zombies, right? You know the decaying flesh, brain hungry eating zombies who are mindless as hell, just coming out of graves and wolves and stuff. There are those kinds. And then there are the kinds that are people who are drugged up and sedated to the point where they are mindless zombies. Either following the master, following the leader, or just doing whatever they're programmed to. Robots, for example, could be considered zombies in one way or another. Then there were the kind of zombies who will literally do anything, something or someone says, and take away any and all reason out of it. Which, that kind of says something about uh, your religion and you, for example. We have hope. Atheists have hope just like you. Except that we don't hope in a god or something. We hope for tomorrow. We hope for a better future. For our children. For ourselves. For our generation. For the earth. We don't need no hope in Christ. Why do we need a hope in Christ? It's like hope in Zeus or Horse or Athena or Hercules. We don't need no hope for them at all. It's, it's kind of insulting that you would say that, that we need hope in a higher being. Are you so egotistical that you need hope and a purpose, a divine heavenly purpose? How egotistical is that? God created us in his image and he loves us so much that he has a divine plan specifically for me. That's egotistical. Our purpose is just to walk and eat and nothing else because we are so dead, we are spiritually dead according to you, JF, while you, your purpose is to worship God, worship the All-Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Jesus, or Yeshua, as you would like to prefer him, maybe. When our purpose is to live, to grow, to learn and evolve, and make this world a better place for children and their children, and so on and so forth. Your purpose is what you are saying is to worship a God, day in and day out. You have never seen him, you have never heard him, you have never tasted him or touched him or smelled him or anything, nor will you ever. You have no proof for him in any way, shape or form, except from uh, what other people tell you. And yet, that is your goal, that is your purpose, to worship something you can't see, taste, touch, smell, you have no scientific evidence or proof for, or any logical proof for at all. I'm not saying, if I don't see it, it's not real, I'm just saying that if you can't provide evidence, why must we believe? We're not soul dead, we're not spiritually dead, because honestly, I don't believe we have spiritual souls, but that's besides the point. You claim that we worship the self. We worship the self. We worship man. We worship ourselves. I don't, I damn hell don't worship myself. Trust me. I have very low confidence in myself. As an atheist, I worship nothing. Nothing at all. I worship. You worship a god. You worship Jesus. Catholics worship saints as well, but bleh. If I worship the self, I wouldn't be an atheist, so please. Learn the definition of atheism, please. If you want, I can provide it in the description box below for you if you have actually watched this. Hmm? Should I? I mean, apparently I do since you don't actually know the real meaning of the word atheist, right? I mean, come on. I assume so. Anyway, we have no hope in Christ. We have no hope in Christ because we don't believe in Him. It's just like saying that you don't have a liver because you don't smoke crack. Makes no fucking sense. So, why the hell say it? And you claim again that you're doing this all, you're making these videos so that we can turn to Christ. You made this video specifically as well as all the other ones for us atheists and other non-Christians to uh, go to Christ. When I don't think you bashing atheists pretty much and claiming that we're spiritually dead and zombies because we don't believe like you is going to help uh, your case. It's going to help us believe. It's not. If you want us to believe, next time in your videos, don't make baseless claims that you cannot uh, back up and provide evidence. Evidence. 
proof and evidence that your view, that your way of thinking, that your belief system is correct. If you can't do it, then fuck off. You understand that, JF? You hear that other Christians who think just like JF? If you can't provide evidence, but you claim you have evidence, but the only evidence you claim is you feel he exists. You wish he exists. You, it brings you happiness and joy. Or some other bullshit like that. Fuck off. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be rude. But time and time again, when we say, provide evidence, what do you do? Nothing. You don't do anything but bad war saying how you feel he exists. How you know he exists because he's in your heart. You must have faith. You must be blindingly gullible to believe him. Which is what faith is, basically. To believe in something without evidence. If you believe he exists, please JF. In your next video, I want you to make a video response to me if you actually watch this video. I know you don't censor your comments or anything, which I thank you very much. You uh, provide freedom of speech. Then again, I know you don't like blacks that much from all this stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just assuming I'm, I'm actually joking on this. But if you see this and you watch this guy, we'll make this into an actual video response to your video, JF. Proving that your God is real. Using scientific, logical, and reasonable evidence. Until then, don't make any more videos claiming your God's real. Don't make any more videos claiming that we must turn to him or burn. I'm sorry. You can make videos about your God is real. You just can't make videos, or you shouldn't at least make videos, claiming that you can easily prove his existence and we must turn to him automatically without providing us evidence for it, and that the evidence will be provided after return, which makes no fucking sense. So